morning. How you doing today? It's a great morning for a hike out here. Wound up waking up a little bit early. Not on purpose. I just couldn't fall back asleep. My brain turned on and that's all she wrote. But uh, thought I'd get out here and talk a little bit more about clothing. It's that time of year too, for me at least, to get my backpacking haircut. When I'm out on the trail, it's a little rough to keep keep clean. So for me, it's basically just a dip in the stream, shake it off, and ready to go. So anyway, that's not for everybody, but uh, certainly it works for me. So I want to talk a little bit more about clothing, like I said. Uh, we left off the other day talking about pants and, and those types of things. So I want to move up now to, to what you want to wear in the upper part of your body. This is a part here, too, where people tend to want to bring a lot of stuff. Um, and you just don't have room. You know, I mean, you can bring all you want, but you got to carry it. And so what I typically do is I typically, like I said, that my general rule is I wear one and I carry one. And so right now uh, I'm dressed in layers. It's a little cool out, not too bad. Probably take this sweatshirt off in a little bit. But I've got my poly layer on right here and then a sweatshirt over top. And this is a typical sweatshirt that I'll bring as a layer. Um, sometimes I'll bring a zip up fleece. Sometimes that's a little easier because then you can open it up. But for me, I like a uh, hooded sweatshirt at times uh, because like, especially if you use it to sleep in, you can put this on, it keeps your head warm at night if you get a little cold. Um, but you know, it's just, it's just something extra. I also like this particular sweatshirt because it's from the Dead Theologian Society, which is one of the uh, apostolates that we use uh, for our youth ministry program. And so uh, Eddie Cotter, who founded it, is a friend of mine. And uh, I like to send him pictures from like mountain passes and, you know, you know, mountain streams and all that kind of stuff with us wearing our DTS shirts. So for me, it's just kind of a, a personal thing, but it's a really, really nice layer. Um, it's, it's, it's not too thick, but it's thick enough to, to, uh, to keep you warm. So that poly layer, that poly layer, like we talked about is, um, you know, this is a hundred percent polyester shirt. Um, again, this is the typical shirt I wear, pack one, wear one, you know, rotate them. You know, you can wash them out in the stream, hang them out to dry. They're dry in an hour. Um, but uh, they're really nice because they take the moisture from your body and they wick it away. And so if you're wearing a cotton t-shirt and you've got your straps on all day, not only is you, are you going to have like bands of sweat here, that's going to start to abrade on your skin and you're going to get rashes and things like that. Whereas this takes the moisture, wicks it away, and uh, you have a lot less problems with your pack and with, with rashes and things like that. So that layer, that's, that's, a, that's a critical layer as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I've, got another, I've got another layer here. This is just a cotton shirt, like a cotton long sleeve t-shirt. This works really well as that second layer. I'll put this somewhere handy where when we're you know, getting ready to climb a mountain pass or we're up at higher elevations or it's a little cooler out, I can just throw this thing on real quick. So again, I could put this on over my poly and wear it backpacking and Again, the moisture wicks away th through the polyester layer out to the cotton layer, and I don't have any problems, but I can still stay warm. So this is a great also for when you get to camp. Uh, first thing you want to put on maybe over your poly, or if you want to change into your clean poly, put this on over it. You know, it's going to keep you warm as, as things start to cool off in the evening. So again, uh, second layer. I bring one of these. So I typically total two polys for under... Uh, and and one cotton like this, cotton long sleeve. I do have a second. Uh, sometimes I just use this for sleeping and sometimes I use it for um, uh, like a long sleeve poly layer. Again, if you're hiking in somewhere where it's gonna be pretty cool, maybe you want a long sleeve. This has been a really nice shirt for me as well, but most of the time I use this for my sleeping shirt. Um, and it keeps, you know, it's long sleeve um, and it's, it's just a good, it's a good lightweight shirt. I don't know, I can't tell you what this thing weighs, but it isn't much. That's, so that's about it for my top layers. Again, we talked about this in an early video, it's just layers, layers, layers. If worse came to worse, I could have three or four layers right here and I just keep putting them on or taking them off as I need them. And so I'm not hiking in Antarctica or I'm not summiting Mount Everest, those types of things, you know, where you need all that specialized gear. This is for areas that we're hiking in, even up in the, in the, um, in the Rockies when we're at like, 9, 10, maybe 11,000 feet. This stuff works perfectly fine when you're out there in the summer. See you on the trail.
and also summer haircuts. I try and typically, it's that time of year. Yeah. It's that time. And this is the part too where So let's say you're, uh, I'll put this when we're like gonna, uh, I'll put this hand, some, 